We'll see how to perform Taguchi dynamic analysis manually in MS Excel. This is the same problem we have been doing for all the Taguchi uh, example videos. Um, so we have three internal variables, uh, thread price squarings with two levels, rubber type two levels, tire construction method two levels, and then for the dynamic part we have added a signal factor, the power produced by the cyclist or rider. And then we have two external condition and also we have two level for each of these external conditions. So we have collected this data from this tire life data. So the Y is the uh, number of miles each of these tire um, survive for uh, under these conditions. The uh, before we perform the dynamic analysis, let me run this in a mini tab so that we can verify our calculations. So I have copied this data here. Go to start DOE Taguchi analyze. Um, so define the factor, three internal factors, and I have a signal factor. Define that. So that's S is my signal factor, the power from the cyclist. Hit OK. And then these four responses. And just leave everything as it is, run the basic analysis. So as you can see here, in dynamic analysis, it produces the signal to noise uh, ratio table, and also it produces the slow factor. Now this signal to noise ratio table, we have done this calculation before. Let me show you that. So this is the same analysis we have performed before. I have shown you how to manually calculate uh, this in MS Excel. So check that video where it says how to calculate n signal to noise ratio in MS Excel. So as you can see 40, 44. So let's go back to the video. We can see here 40, 44. They're basically same number. Um, so they, 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 they use the same formula. So I'm not going to show you that. I will show you how to calculate these slopes. Now before we calculate slopes, I want to kind of go a little bit background of what is this slope. Now in Taguchi dynamic analysis, the external factor, it is viewed as a um, some sort of linear relationship with the response. So in this case, the more power the cycle is developed, the less life this tire gets. So there should be a relationship between the response and the uh, signal factor. So the power, um, the response, the tire life is proportional to the signal factor. So this is how dynamic analysis view in Taguchi design. Now sometimes you could have a relationship, for example, x is square. Let's say y instead of y called y equal mx, you might have y equal mx, mx x is square. That's fine. We can just simply treat that x is square as one single thing. So then it becomes linear y equal to mx type of relationship. So this slope, what that means is for every one increase of power, one level increase of power, how much the tire life gets affected. So that's the um, meaning for this slope. So you can simply write this as um, b equals, uh, we can write b equal to y by x. So it's some sort of miles per hour. So every hour, how many miles do you go? So every power level, you go from minus low level power to high level power how much tire life is affected. So in this case, high level, low level, assume that the average person develop about 100 watts and then a pro cycle is develop about 300 watts. Let's say we are testing average person with a pro cyclist power, 100 watt and 300 watts. So if you increase from the average cyclist power level minus one to a pro cyclist level which is plus one then how much mile we get more or less so that is this definition or interpretation of this slope now as you know from the regression equation this is the equation to calculate this slope 
Now, if you set up the experiment as Taguchi layer definition, like one, two, three, instead of plus minus, then you will have to use this whole equation. However, I like to prefer setting the equation as the factorial arrangement. That way, summation of x is basically zero. So x in this case is the signal factor. So if you sum of these, you will see all of them zero because they are orthogonal and each of those appear same number of times in one column so zero so summation of x does not exist so that part zero that part zero so it becomes summation of xy divided by x squared so this is all we have to do you have to find out summation of xy and x squared to calculate the slope so i have set up this already xy 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 summation of xy x squared so let's calculate that so equal to x times um, y. Now I'm going to be copying this all the way, so I'm going to freeze that. Let me write this x as kind of x, just for the understanding purpose, the same thing. This is, equal, maybe I'll just copy this down and then move the cell according to the, so this one I'm going to, so this x times that y move the x right here move the there must be an easier way to do this i just don't know if you know let me know we could actually create it four separate x's and then multiply it that probably would save some time eh, probably a couple of seconds not really a big deal now we can copy this so that's my xy now summation of xy simply sum of uh, these um, four xy's and then copy down x square is basically all one because minus one times minus one would be one however I'm gonna set up the formula in case if you use it other level type of so this is uh, what that x is now slope is xy summation of xy divide by uh, x is square. Now remember we have added four of these. So we have actually four x is square. So this should be divided by four. This is one exception. So if you arrange the data like this, you really don't see that part. But you have to kind of visualize this. And then you copy all the way down. And then here I again set up that same equation. I copied. So this is the average slope for the level one you can see here average slope for the uh, let me get my pen so uh, if i get pen then i won't be able to do that so let's take out this pen so this is the average slope for the uh, low level of A factor, internal factor A. So if we use low level of third party square inch, the average slope is negative 102. What that means is if we increase the cyclist power from low level to high level, then the average uh, life of the tire go down by 102. Uh, two. Uh, at the high thread per square inch, this is the average slope for the high thread per square inch. Uh, same thing, if you increase the power from low level to high level, let's say 100 watt to 300 watt, let's say we are comparing uh, 100 watt to 300 watt power level, then the tire life decreases by 75. And this one is the same thing for B, low level, which is the tire rubber quality one. And then uh, this one is for rubber quality two, same explanation. Um, and you can see this difference between these two, very similar explanation. So if we go back to mini tab, you can see it's the exact same numbers we have got here in mini tab and in MS Excel. So it's very basically simple to generate that slope table in MS Excel.